Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Ixion, where last time we took command of the beautiful Tycoon space station, we built a few bits and bobs, and then we blew up the moon. And there it is, there's the moon in quite a few more bits than it's supposed to be. And to make matters even worse, we somehow got stuck in time, or there was time dilation, or some sort of other wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing happened, and it looks like we've been away for a while, because if we just kind of pan the camera around in that direction a bit, there is the Earth. Earth, and the Earth does not look like it did when we left it. So something a bit weird has happened. During our kind of amazing jump with the Vol engine, it also travelled us a bit forward in time, I suspect. So that's not great. We've not had a great start in charge of the wonderful Tycoon space station, as pretty as it is. And we do have a few immediate problems. The first being that our hull is damaged and needs to be fixed up a bit. So let's do that, I think, before things go boom. So what do we have to do for that? So at the moment, hull repair is disabled. That doesn't sound very good at all. So at the moment, the hull is falling apart 28 hull points per cycle because, yeah, 20 of that damage is coming from vol jumps and eight of that damage is coming from an open sector. So we do have a breach on board the Tycoon. OK, that's not good. I think, though, we can activate hull repair by clicking that button there. So let's switch that on and that might allow us to kind of fill in a few gaps around the place. How is it looking on the inside? I mean, can we see where that gap is? I don't think we can see the gap. So I think that thing there, the EVA airlock, that is what is used to actually do the repairs. So I think, can we zoom in any more? I think, yeah, look, they get into these little kind of floaty kind of robot things. They pop into those, they go outside and they do the repairs. So that's gonna go and fix the hull up, which is quite good. So it's gonna take alloys, however. So we do need to start thinking about how we can top up resources because now we can't go and ask anybody for them because it does seem to me that the Earth is a little bit dead. I guess we'll find out as time goes on. So, OK, that'll at least sort the hull out. That's quite good. We do have some goals up here as well. So resolve the event, the Ghosts of Urshanabi on the planetary system map. Now, the Urshanabi were the people who we were trading with before the whole jump thing happened and then everything went to bit wonkaloid. So that's quite intriguing. And we've got to feed 1,000 crew members. So that might take a while. And repair-wise, we've got to research the probe launcher because I imagine we can then go and gather resources from something else. We can go out and you know, grab resources from the moon or bits and bobs that are lying around or whatever. So I think maybe we've got, what, 60 science points right now. Maybe the probe launcher would be quite a good thing to get our hands on. It's only 30. So yeah, can we please get that? Please focus on that. That would be handy. So we're going to go down to 30 science points, but that's okay. And then where is the EVA hub thingamajig? Where is it? There it is. EVA airlock. There are all these things down here. Can we possibly do any of this? No, we can't. We can't right now. I thought maybe we could get that, like dermal interface and construction speed is increased by 10%. I thought that might help out quite a bit, but no, we can't do any of that because we're lacking certain technology tiers and things. Okay, that's fine. So at the moment, we're just going to get the basics in. Right, so now we're going to get ourselves eventually a probe launcher. That's going to be helpful. Now, I think everyone's got a house. Everyone's got a house, but we do have 194 hungry people, which is not good news at all. We've only got 26 food. We are making our own food, although it is quite limited. I mean, it's insects. It's just insects. That's what we're eating at the minute. I mean, can we make them any better? Can we go back into there, find where the, um, the insect farms are? Can we do any of that? No. We need technology tier two, which is that tier out there, is it? Yeah. So we have to research all technologies from the previous tier to unlock tier one. Although, if we get the probe launcher done, that means all tech will be unlocked from these two here. So these ones will then reveal themselves. Okay, that might be what we have to do. So uh, also, oh, hang on, we've got some events to deal with as well. We have some events. Okay, so uh, yeah, one there, one there. Let's go for that one. That'll do. Moon Oddity. Administrator, you may have noticed that the moon has broken apart. I did notice that. I did notice that. Yeah, I wasn't looking at first. I thought, hey, look, there's something completely weird. Oh, no, it's the moon that's in pieces. Oh, brilliant. Um, the crew are aware of this. And many rumours are spreading throughout the station. You have to make an official statement. Okay. So what do we want to say? Um, Dolos or Dolos? I think it's Dolos, isn't it? Um, Dolos has many enemies. 
Something must have happened during the test jump, being such a high profile event, it was the perfect opportunity for them to strike and sabotage our plans. Okay, so we can blame other people. It's our fault. Despite our robust safety measures, a system failure at the exact moment of the jump caused the engine to drag a part of the moon with it into self-similar space. That's a kind of the weird sort of warpy sort of time travelly wibbly wobbly thing that we saw. Um, this failure has cost humanity dearly. Our mission now is to rebuild. Or it was humanity's fate. Evidence suggests a great deal of time has passed in the solar system. The moon's destruction is obviously a consequence of humanity's selfish and warlike instincts. We can't say that. Are they the only three we've got? I suspect, I suspect it was a sabotage thing because when it happened, when we came back, um, whatever the little kind of uh, thing is called, Eden, was saying something like there were many kind of random anomalies found in the Vol engine sort of data or something, as though it had been kind of compromised. So I think maybe it was sabotage. I mean, the moment... I'm looking at Eden because AIs on board spaceships are always a little bit dodgy, aren't they? They do tend to go a little bit kind of rogue and start doing the killing. So at the moment, I'm looking at the onboard AI. But, you know, I'm, until we get evidence, I'm not going to announce it publicly to Eden. So I'm going to say Dolos has many enemies. Other people have done this. Other people wanted us to fail. And we did fail, but we failed quite spectacularly. So, yeah, there we go. Dolos has many enemies. Oh, dear. So trust penalty minus 5%. Already that's quite low. Already that's coming down. 50% trust in us already. And it's coming down. So that's not very good. Um, the game ends, by the way, if either that gets to zero, which means that there's a great big mutiny, or the hull integrity gets to zero and the ship kind of implodes a bit. So we don't want that or that to get to zero or else it's game over. Okay, so that's dealt with that particular event. Let's go and have a look at that one as well because I don't know what the penalty is if we don't deal with the vents. Administrator, the crew are asking a lot of questions about the state of the Earth. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Looks a little bit dead, but okay. Um, Munchy behavioral algorithms predict a decrease in productivity of 22% if those questions go unanswered. As administrator of the Tycoon Station, you should find some answers quickly. Commit to sending an expedition to Earth. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Okay, hang on a second. So we'll do that. We shall go and do that right now. Let's pop back out to here. Let's nip out, shall we? Hang on. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's that one, isn't it? I need to do that. Um, so there's Earth waiting for a science ship. Let's send the Faraday. So Faraday, can you please pop over to Earth and have a look what's happened? Because clearly something's got a little bit wonkaloids. Um, and then gear. Is it worth sending gear over to have a chat well, or whatever, to go and investigate the Urshanabi. Um, Because that might be worth thinking. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on. Where are the other planets? Hang on. No, that's not right. <laughs> okay, something very bizarre has happened. There's the Earth. And there's what's left of the moon. And there's the sun. I can tell that's the sun because it's the hot thing in the middle. But where's Mars and Jupiter and Saturn and all the others? Where have they all gone? Oh, dear. Uh, right, okay, that's that's unexpected. Entire planets have gone missing. Oh, dear me, the universe is an outrage. Um, okay, let's go and send the gear, then, over to the Urshanabi. Let's go and deal with that show. But, right, so, move... Hang on, do you want to move time on? Is there anything else we need to do over here? I don't think there is that much we can do right now. We need to um, preserve the alloys so we can repair the hull. So when that's done, maybe then, when the hull's fixed up a bit... We'll then, um, we'll then get building through. I think for now, we get time ticking on. Let's get time moving. We should go back onto the... Can we see the ships flying around? Can we see like the science ship pootling about the place? Making its way over there, can we? I don't think we can. Okay, the Faraday has arrived at Earth. Okay, <laughs> what are we going to find? Not a lot, I imagine. Okay, no signals have been received from Earth. The oceans seem to have evaporated and the surface temperature has risen significantly since the tycoon was last in orbit. Atmospheric readings indicate the presence of strong dust storms and dangerously high levels of carbon dioxide, radiation and microplastics. The blue planet will never again deserve its name. Okay, so there's no water, or pretty much no water. It's really hot and it's full of carbon dioxide, radiation and microplastics. And around it, according to that picture... 
a lot of broken satellites and there's the moon in bit sorry everyone oh dear and there's lots of kind of impact craters as well now are they impact craters from say you know rocks through space or are they impact craters from some sort of nuclear missile kind of war effort type things i don't know uh, okay right investigate dolos headquarters the Faraday's team will proceed to the coordinates of Inner Heaven, the former headquarters of Dolos on Earth, investigate a personal location, try and find our family home, scour the globe in search of survivors. That does seem to be the most prudent option. The team will use all the tools on board the Faraday to search for any signs of civilization, community or survivors. Yeah, have we got any people alive? I'm going to guess no, but you know, we, we live in hope. So there we go. You go and have a little look around there, please. And I think the gear is still making its way over there, isn't it? Right, hull integrity is going back up. It's ticking back up. But hull repair does cost two alloys per cycle. And we're not stocking back up on those. Have we depleted everything inside? Have we got rid of all of those things? Yes, we have. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. I'm imagining when we open up into different sectors, when we eventually... Oh, override the locks and get into a different sector. I'm going to imagine that's going to be full of goodies. There's going to be all those little kind of piles of goodies that we had over here. What do we need to do to unlock it? We need 80 alloys. Okay, oh, hang on, pause time. Um, one electronics. That's a bit of an issue. We don't have any of that. Bit of food and 40 people. Crikeys. Okay, okay, that's fine. We're not quite there yet. Um, right, back we go to here then. So, ah, the Urshanabi. Right, so, uh, yeah, gear has arrived over here. Um, Urshanabi scan report. Our sensors have detected the Urshanabi. The ship is broken in two and is not transmitting any signals. Okay. It looks like it might have been there for a very long time. The phrase, whoever helps Dolos is an enemy of humanity, has been daubed in large letters on the wreck of the Urshanabi. Mummified bodies have been attached to its hull. Oh, crikeys. Okay. That's quite horrendous. So there's mummified bodies. I mean, what does a body do in space? Does it decay? Does it kind of rot? Or is it preserved by the vacuum of space? I don't really know. What a terribly grim thought. Um, okay, gather the remaining resources. That might be quite helpful. Gather what you can from that broken ship. Okay, right. This isn't looking good at all, is it? How is our science doing? Have we researched the thing yet? Only 38% because we keep having to pause it. Right. We really do need to. We need to get some more food. Is it worth, is it worth, hang on, investing in another insect farm? At least that produces more food. It's not a lot of food, but it's better than no food at all. So I think we put that there and then we get a road. Let's connect the road. A lot of people apparently were shouting at their screens on the previous part when I didn't put a road here so we couldn't build the great big kind of Eva airlock thing. But there we go. We've got a road in eventually. I've remembered that one as well. So I think that might help. That might help a little bit. You know, generate a tiny, tiny bit of food. Um, what are we doing? So uh, enough food is stored for two meals. 20 units of food are consumed per meal. Three units of food are produced per cycle on average. Current average production covers 75% of meal requirements. Okay, so we're not too far off food, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think when we get that done, when we research our probe thing, we can then possibly upgrade the efficiency of these with what remains of our science points. I know they are ticking up. Of course they are, because we've got sciencey people doing sciencey stuff. Yay for the sciencey people. Uh, okay, right. Back we go to here. Have we got anything to do? Ah, okay. The Urshanabi thing is almost done. So here we go. Uh, right, it's completed everything over here. Uh, transmission from the Gears team. The ship was full of food. I hope the expiration date hasn't passed. Everything is ready for extraction. 42 food. Oh, that's beautiful. That's another, what, two meals-ish, is it? Okay, please extract the food. Please do that. Do we need... Hang on. Pause time. Do we now need to go to fleet and tell the glue scap to nip out into sector one. That's where it's based, isn't it? Sector one. Um, yeah, go and grab all of that food, please. That is your order, glue scab. I think it's on the way. I think it's on the way. Yeah, there it is. It looks a little bit... It's how I imagine Red Dwarf to look, if you know what Red Dwarf is. If you don't, it's a, a wonderfully funny, brilliant British uh, sitcom thing set in space. Um, but yeah, it looks a little bit like that from a distance. 
it's red although it doesn't have a kind of a big kind of asteroid you think stuck in the bottom i don't think so anyway. but there we go so that can go and grab food from there and bring it back that does imply that does imply there's alloys it does seem to say there are alloys on there but i don't think there are there's no alloys the little icon is saying there's alloys but i don't know no i don't think there is right okay so retrieve that food how are we doing over here on Earth? Have we found any people? Let's get time moving on a little bit quicker, shall we? Um, hang on, pop back down into here. Is the research... Ah, the research is done. Okay. And we can build something new. I imagine we can build a probe launcher for 90. Oh my goodness me, 90 of our alloys. Oh dear. Right, how's hull integrity? Hull integrity is being maintained... Plus one balance per cycle. It's not very much, is it? It's not very much. Can we not fix that? Can we go and fix the sectors and things? Oh, dear. Uh, okay, right. No, that's fine. I think we need to get the probe launcher in. Because, yeah, build a probe launcher. That's going to be vital in getting resources back into the um, back into the station, isn't it? So let's get one of these. So it's just going to take so much alloy. We just did that to get some food. But now, yes, we've got a bit of an alloy crisis going on. And also, hang on, go back to the tech tree. All of these things are now here. So we can now unlock a battery, a steel mill, a polymer refinery, an electronics factory, a cryonic center, memorials. What's that? Plus one stability. Ah, okay. So, yeah, we can go and remember people. And it makes things a bit more stable. That's quite good. Or an alternative life center. Provides plus one stability in the sector. Is that like a kind of a, a VR place where you go and forget the fact that you're trapped on a great big cylindrical space station type thing and your ship has brought about the destruction of humanity? Is, is that where you go to forget that kind of thing? Maybe it is. However, if we click down here, insect farm, can we now do that? Can we do that? The technology tier two is required to unlock this. Do we not? have tier two is that what's that there's a mystery thing at the top there um okay maybe we can't do that yet or do we need something from here to then enter into tier two technology i don't know am i missing something obvious not how to two upgrades unlocked okay so yeah the technology tier two is required maybe we have to unlock something over here first before we can then unlock other bits and bobs and everything seems to be 45 okay so we can't do it quite yet okay never mind that's fine food is ticking up okay which is good right let's get this thing built then where's the probe launcher gonna go are oh, the probe launchers massive as well <laughs> oh dear um right okay so i think a lesson that we've learned is a very important lesson build lots of things toward the middle because lots of other things need to be built toward the sides. Um, right, we might need to move some things. Can we move this? I don't want to dismantle it. I just want to pick it up and move it, please. Can we just put it on a trolley and just shift it over here? Um, if we dismantle it, what do we get? Hang on, hang on. Wait until it produces one science every 30 cycles. That's not very much, is it? That's not very much. Um, but it's got that far. Do we want to just let it tick up to the next thing? I mean, they're three quarters of the way through. It would seem a shame to uh, it seem a shame to waste that. Ah, here we go. There's some uh, some action over at Earth. Okay, what have we found? Transmission from the Faraday's team. After a long search, we have found nothing but rubble. We've seen no signs of life, not even a corpse. The lunaclism. Ooh. That's a good name. Seems to cause a series of events that precipitated the collapse of thermo-industrial civilization. The Earth has become a toxic and arid wasteland, scoured by harsh winds, now more inhospitable than Mars. Which also is absent, I noticed, by the way. Um, oh dear. The only remnant of civilization we found was a fallen stale? Steel? I don't know what that is. Uh, where the city of Washington once stood. Stuck in a crevice, it had been sheltered from the wind. A prayer imploring divine forgiveness was engraved in gold on its surface. Oh my word. Okay. <laughs> right, so the earth is, is dead. The earth is gone. There's nobody there. There's no hope of finding people there. It has been obliterated. Oh dear. However, 
On the flip side, we do have 97 alloys to go and collect, 149 polymers, that's going to be very useful, and 45 sides as well. Right, resume data listening protocol. Um, oh, okay. We can go do something else. Um, okay, maybe now go and investigate the headquarters. Maybe we can find some something useful, some plans or schematics or, I don't know, anything, something useful. Go and investigate the headquarters, please. And also, yeah, we'll extract the um, the science a bit later on. That could be quite handy as well. But OK, right. So get time ticking on a bit. I do want to make sure that we move our science building out of the way once it's done that one science point. Because, yeah, I don't want to do it now. I don't want to take it apart now because that they've got that far. They've got that far doing the science. I don't want to stop them doing the science anymore until that's complete. I'd rather they generate a good, yeah, a good one point of science. And then we can stop it all. But, okay, how are we looking? Right, it's gone back to Earth. And what have we got? Summary of all intelligence on Earth. Uh, the converted oil rig, which Dolos used as its state of the headquarters, is gone. Only a few metal scraps remain, scattered across an expanse of dusty, cracked Earth. There is no sign of survivors. Oh, dear me. However... There is a massive pile of alloys and some more science. Okay, so got loads of science going on. This is quite handy. This is going to help us get a good sort of uh, a good start into getting some new tech on board. Um, and let's go and do the final thing. Let's go and try and find our family home. It's kind of over there somewhere. Just to the left of that scorched bit and underneath that scorched bit. Yeah, there you go. It's that scorched bit there. You're right. Investigate personal location. Here we go. Let's go and do that then, please. So and pause time. That's going to take two cycles to get that done. Okay. How are the science people doing? Are you doing anything useful? You're still taking a while to get up to there, but that's okay. That's fine. It's okay. You just keep slowly generating your science points. We'll just speed time on nice and quick. Okay, we've got all the food from the Air Shinabi. The food is coming in. I can see it pouring in right now. The little kind of robot things are delivering it. So we've got, what, 40 in total. There's 40 in the station. So does that mean it's being stored? Right, so more is coming in. Look, some more is being stored. This is good. Right, so that could tick up to at least probably 50. So we've got enough for three meals. That's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. And trust is going back up a bit. Trust is ticking up. It did get down to 43%, which isn't great, but it's going back up now, which is very good. Power is of a little bit of concern. We've only got seven left to spend, which isn't very much at all. So we might possibly have to deactivate the science building and then switch on the probe launcher thing. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. I think we have the final thing over here. I think we've got the final event. Um, summary of intelligence on the administrator's home. A huge crevice cuts through the ground where your home once stood. There is no trace of civilization. Oh no, Northampton has fallen. Oh no, it's all very sad. Ready for extraction. Another 45 science. 121 alloys and nine electronics. Okay, that's quite interesting. Okay, that's it. We've resolved the event. We've been to Earth and it's terrible there. Um, okay, so now our ship can go back over to here. Right, grab. No, don't grab that actually. Hang on. So turn that off because these are different sort of uh, priority things. So I would rather grab the electronics. Although have we got anywhere for that to go? I don't think we have anywhere to store electronics at the minute. Hang on a second. Don't do that. Um, grab the polymers. Grab that and grab the alloys. Do that, please. That's going to be handy. And we need to go to here. And we need to get building, I think. We need to get another kind of storage thing for the electronics to go into. Because I'd rather have their own individual ones. So, um, yeah, it's going to take three power. That's okay. We can afford that. Um, where's the doorway to that thing? I mean, is it worth kind of putting that there? Can we have another thing next to it? No, because they're four wide. I'm trying to figure out where we can put this, where it's not going to get away. Oh, hang on. No, don't put things around the edge, Penge. Put things in the middle. Um, we'll pop that one. Let's put it there. And that road can kind of run up by. So pop that in like that. And then that can store electronics. Yes, that's going to be handy. Right, how are you doing with your science? It's taking forever to get to that. We'll starve to death, but we're going to have to move your science lab. I'm sorry, but we need to put a probe launcher. Um, dismantle the building. So are we going to lose everything 
that went into the tech lab, or do we get some of it back? Dismantle the building. Sorry, scientist people. You have to go and get other jobs for a while. Um, oh, hang on. An event has popped up over there. What have we got? The Great Thor. Administrator, to safeguard humanity, we must find survivors and increase the station's population. We do not have time to go through the classic reproductive cycle of your species. Okay, so no stalk letter writing going on. Nobody bought any pens or pencils. Adding new members to the tycoon's crew will have a positive impact on morale. Cryonic stasis, a practice pioneered by Dolos, was in growing use even before we left the solar system. There is a very high likelihood that cryonic pods containing survivors await discovery. Okay, where? Where do we look for those? Do we pop down the local intergalactic cryonic pod shop? Find and collect 500 cryonic pods. That seems like quite a lot. Okay. So we're now going to go find 500 cryonic pods. Um, okay. Cryonic centers. What's that telling us? Cryonic centers open cryonic pods, increasing your population with the workers or non-workers. Cryopods can be found during expeditions using your science ships. Okay, so we can find the pods, and that's okay, but then to open them up, we need a cryonic centre. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. We can work on that. We can get one of those done eventually, possibly. Right, let's get this done, look. Let's get this done. We'll rebuild the science centre over there. We should have a good supply of alloys coming in, because we've got things bringing them in, so we should be okay. Right, if they're taking that apart, I think we're getting alloys back out of that. I think we're taking it apart in a very sort of responsible sort of a way. So there we go. Just, that's it. Just remove that bit. And there we go. It's gone. Okay, so then if we go here, take that road out. Take that road. In fact, no, hang on, hang on. Where's our probe launchy thing? Probe launcher. So let's put it. Uh, I mean, if we put it there, I think we have to keep that clear for roads. Because it looks like there needs to be a road connection. They look like a little kind of doorway thing. So it would make sense, you know, if we just went, do you know what? Road. All that is road. And connect it up like that. So all that's a great big road. So go and do that. And the probe launcher can go just there. And then we can have a road that runs across the front like that. Perfect. There we go. Look, wonderful. So that's going to take quite a lot of alloys. But we are bringing in quite a few from the um, from the remnants of Earth, which is a bit sad. Okay, so there we go. So you go and deal with that, look. Right, Buildy Robot is out doing all sorts of stuff. That's very exciting. Uh, oh, hang on. There's another thing. Another event. Melancholia or Melancholia. Administrator. Uh, mission reports from the expedition to Earth are being discussed among the crew. The thought of having lost or loved ones left behind has destroyed morale for many of them. I understand that. Yeah, I can I can see where you're coming from with that. The symptoms of this trauma have now been collated under the medical designation Dead Earth Sickness. Stability penalty minus one permanent. Okay, so the fact that our home planet is now no more has upset some people. I get, I get that. That's fine. Okay, so people are going to be a little bit grumpier because Earth is dead. That's acceptable. I can cope with that. That's okay. Right, do you know what? Just to make things a little bit more efficient. Get that down there as well. Right, can we build our probe launcher thing very quickly? I suspect we might need to get it done fairly sharpish. Okay, run time on quickly. How are we looking for science? But we are stocking up on science. Do you know what? Hang on. Let's do some science. Can we do... Ah, there's no tech lab. Botherations. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I did think, ah, can we do science without the tech lab? But no. I mean, we could just rebuild the tech lab. Where is the tech lab? Um, factories? Yeah. We can only have one of those. But I mean, oh, it fits there. It goes, or it goes over here, look. It could fit into there. Um, I can't quite fit there. That's unfortunate. It does go over here, though. There's a little bit of wasted space across the top, but that's okay. I think we can cope with that. It doesn't fit down here. Uh, oh, hang on. I know, but don't put it on the edge, Pench. Don't put things on the edge, because then I'll put it there, and then we'll have another big thing that needs to go into the side, and then I'll have to move it again. No, we're going to put it... We're going to put it there. Build that again, please, because I'd like to do some more research. We're stocking up on research points, and we're not actually using them. And there's another 70 coming our way. Food is looking pretty good. Four meals worth of food. That's very good. But yeah, we're still doing that. And we're still picking up various bits and bobs. Hang on, go back to there. Um, we can now pick up the electronics. Grab all of the stuff. Grab all the things, please. Are we actually doing that? Is the um, the glue scap doing that? I can't see where it is. 
I'm not entirely convinced it is doing that. Hang on, move time on quickly. Glue scout. Oh no, there it is. There it is. There's the little red dwarf ship pootling about. Okay, good. Right, so how are we looking over here? That's almost complete. Move time on nice and fast until it's done. Won't take long. I imagine now we're going to have to build probes. Yeah, there we go. Construct a probe. Okay, that's fine. How are we looking for the science building? The science building is almost done. The only thing is, I suspect we might have to turn it off pretty much immediately because that's going to take 12 power, isn't it? I think it took 12 and that's going to push us over the edge. We might need to build some more solar panels on the side of the tycoon. Hang on a second. Can we power that down immediately? Can we turn that off? So it's not going to do anything when they construct it. Is that going to work? Or do we have to do some emergency power management stuff? Hang on, there comes our ship back in. Why are we not building that anymore? Why are we not doing that? Oh, hang on. There's no more alloys. Oh dear, hang on. That's bad for hull integrity, isn't it? Ah, okay, right. That ship is now required. Um, And also, uh, we've got all the polymers in. That's okay. Right, what do we need to build a probe? What do we need to do that? Three polymers. Okay, conveniently, we've got lots of those. So let's build a probe. We can only have one by the look of it. So, right, build as a probe, please. Don't pause time. Get time moving on. Get that working. All the polymers have gone in already. Very efficient. Right, and then I think... We go back to... Hang on, where's Fleet? There. Um, yeah, well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so all the polymers are in. So yeah, please bring back... Please bring back the alloys and the electronics. That's good. And then I think we need to go to here and we need to do some exterior construction. Can we do that? For 15 polymers, another 40 power because of some smaller solar panels. That could be quite good. Where do they go? Just sort of tacked. Oh, they go into the what we've already got. It's just another kind of bank. Yeah, okay. I think that's got to be done. So hull repair will be paused. That's okay. Can cope with that. That's fine. I think it's more important that we um that we get some more power going on because we're gonna run out and that's going to be bad. Uh yeah, we're still trying to repair 29 hull points per cycle. The hull's not looking in a good way, but it's fine. Right, let's get this sorted. We'll go and get the cryonic pods at some point. That's okay. We now need to find an asteroid with iron deposits. Okay, right. How do we do that then? Whereabouts would that be? Um, okay, do we, can we click on that and find out more? No. Okay, probe. There we go. Oh, crikeys. Right. Uh, probe scanner. Hang on. Are we paused? Yes, we're paused. Okay. Don't know what I'm looking at here. That's where we are. That is Earth, I assume. And that's the gear. Oh, the gear's still at the Air Shinabi. We need to bring the gear back. We must want to bring that back home. Um, okay, so launch probe into just here? What, what, what do you mean? How do we, how do, we do that, though? Uh, there's one probe. Do we just press launch probe? I was thinking maybe that we move that location. Do we move that thing around? I'm just going to press... Hang on. Pan is like that, look. It's pan. But I don't know what I'm... That's what I'm looking at here. I'm just going to press launch probe and hope that's sufficient. Um, oh, there we go. We now get to pick where we want to launch it. Okay. I see. So over there, there's something with lots of whatever that blue thing is. What's that there? Uh, oh, points of interest. Okay, there's a point of interest over there. But we're interested in, yes, iron deposits. That's what we want. So, okay, launch probe over there. We send a little probe out to go and see what there is over there. And then I imagine we have to build some sort of mining machines to then go and do some mining. Okay, right. Faraday. I uh, know the gears are one that's far away, isn't it? You come back home and Faraday, come back home. We might need to decommission one of you two. Because I think we can only have we can only have three ships in our sort of um bay thing over here. Yeah, docking platform. We can only have three of those, and they're all full. But I think, yeah, mining machine is one of those. We might need to get rid of one of these two. But that's okay. It's not going to happen right now. It's all good. And our solar panels are done on the outside. There we go. So now we've got quite a lot of power. So how are we doing with that? The probe's still making its merry way over there. That's okay. Right. So switch that back on. We can now have some sciencey stuff going on. We've got 165 science points. I think... 
just to make sure that we can actually get some food stuff sorted. We try and get that done, but we need to get something else done from the outside here. Um, or does it mean that all that has to be unlocked? Or just one thing? Do we have to unlock everything around here? So, I mean, yeah, can we start upgrading here now? Can we do that? Tech tier 2 is required. What about in the middle? Can we do that? Tech tier 2. Okay, tech tier 2 is required to do all of the shiny things. Okay, that's fine. Got it. Um, how about then we get... I mean, stability wouldn't be a bad thing. Batteries wouldn't be a bad thing. Batteries would be quite handy. But a steel mill turns 59 into 15 alloy. I can foresee that being a very handy thing indeed. Because we're going to go and pick up all the iron. But we can't do anything with it. So how about we get the secrets of steel mills unlocked? Yes, research that please. So get that underway. Right, close the tech tree. Get time ticking on. So hopefully they can do that. Some more repairs are going on. We have got a decent amount of alloys now. So it's not so bad. So the hull is ticking back up again. And we could do with upgrading that as well. We could do with doing upgrades to that to make it even more efficient. That would be very handy. I mean, can we have... Can we tell more people to work there? I don't know if we can tell more people to work there. But people are working there. And that's okay. Right. I think at the moment things are stable, if not brilliant. The ship is coming back with all sorts of goodies. So 41 more polymers. We can't do anything with those polymers at the minute. What can we do with polymers? I'm not quite sure. Do we have to build another storage thing for them? Because I think our sort of um, cargo bay thing here, whatever it is, uh, docking bay is clogged up with polymers. And we can't do anything with it right now. Okay, never mind. We'll cut. If that becomes a problem, then we'll try and deal with it. But right, what's that ship bringing in? So it's going to come back in. So 41 polymers, and it's going to drop off. What else? One, three, two. Okay, it's just dropping off a load of alloys. That's fine. Okay, yeah, crack on. You keep doing that, please. Alloys are good. They stop the ship from going boom. Our little probe has arrived in the area we told it to go to. There's a circle. There's some wibbly kind of censoring lines coming off it. Okay, please find useful things. Please find good stuff. Okay, a probe has completed its scan. All right, the probe is kind of consumed in the process. Okay, so that probe is now gone. However, we've got plenty of alloys, not alloys, plenty of polymers to go and make another one. Hang on, can we go and do that now? Um, go and do that, just so we've got one kind of in reserve, as it were. Um, auto build. Yeah, always build a probe. We've got lots of polymers, and yeah, we might as well have one in reserve at all times. So what do we do with this? We've now got a source of iron over there. There's a little asteroidy rock type thing um, that's got 462 iron. Construct a mining ship in the docking bay. Okay, we're going to have to sacrifice one of our ships. We can't get rid of the glue scap because that's the only one we've got moving resources around. So it's got to be the gear or the Faraday. I think I'd prefer to keep the Faraday. I just like the name better. So let's keep the Faraday. We shall decommission gear. Uh, what's an assign? What does that mean? We can just then assign it. Oh, so it's still there. So available. We can put... Oh, it's just... Okay, right. It's We haven't got rid of it. It's just not assigned to that docking bay. Like the original ship we arrived in. That's gone into the long stay kind of you know, spaceship park. Okay, that's fine. So construct a mining ship. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into it. Look, right, so get us a mining ship, please. Also, our research is looking pretty good. I think we can build ourselves a new shiny thing very soon. And that can make use of the iron that our little kind of thing is going to go and find. Okay, so I think the resources are in. We've now just got to go and make it. And there we go. It's been constructed. It's got big grabby arms out the front. Right, steel mill has been unlocked. Pause time for a second. Let's go and have a little look at the science. So can we now, now that we've got something over here in this tier, can we now go and do upgrades? No, we can't. Technology tier 2 is required. So we still... I mean, I would say that's 1 and that's 2. I would say that's... I don't understand how that works. Okay, never mind, never mind. What else? Can we upgrade anything? Everything requires either tech tier 2 or tech tier 3. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping to do lots of fancy upgrading stuff. Um, okay, battery would be useful. That's going to be handy. Polymer, that's carbon into carbon into polymer. That turns silicon into electronics. We're okay without those for now. Battery, 
would be useful. Cryonic Center, that would be useful for when we find actual people. And that's one of our goals. Memorials make things a bit more sort of stable. That's got to be a good thing. Alternative life center is stability. Let's get, for now, memorials. Let's get one of those. Given that people are sad, given that people are upset about you know, the, uh, the collapse of Earth and all that kind of stuff, understandably so, let's get a memorial in. And that might help out a little bit. Right, and then, just move time on very quickly indeed. Let's get this done. Let's get this kind of thing all set up. It looks very exciting. Look at that. So we can build ourselves a mining ship. And it's going to go back out that way. And then it's ready to go. Okay, so we've got a mining ship ready to fly. Let's just do what we have to do with that. So, mine 462 iron. So, mine that asteroid into oblivion and build a steel mill. Okay. Right, so job number one then. So, you, Deltoid, we've called it. That's a good name. Um, it can extract 30 resource units per cycle. Okay. So, we're going to be here for a long time. We're going to be parked up here for a good long time. Bring back some iron, please. Now, where is the one with electronics? So bring back electronics, but also put iron into there, please. Oh, we can only have one thing. Bother. Ah, because it's small. Okay, never mind. Right. What we need to do then, we need to build a steel mill. How big are these? Okay, everything's really big. Everything is very big. And I can't find places to build things. Okay. <laughs> um, right. That is quite a grandiose thing, isn't it? Where can we put this? Uh, there. Then it's on the edge. And I don't want to build things on the edge. Because we know that that ends up with bad stuff happening. We might need to build it kind of there, possibly. And then take out all those roads. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right, okay, hang on a second. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. You're going to, take the, you're going to have to go the long way round with roads. Got a slight road issue going on. It's okay, it's fine. Right, so get rid of all that. And then go back to the steel mill. And what if we put that... Oh, it's not ideal, is it? Because it's going to cut into the edge of there. So people aren't going to have a nice way round. Unless we sort of put it there, maybe. This is terrible. Oh, dear me. All the things... Oh, dear. Nothing's going to fit anywhere. Um, do we just put it there? Just put it alongside that and just run a road across the top? But then if we have to build something into the side of the ship, we're going to struggle again. Hang on, hang on. Research-wise, is there anything that needs to go into the side of the ship? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Um, research or tech from the previous tier to unlock tier two. Oh, that's tier two. Well, hang on, that's tier one. That What's that then? What's that? That's tier nothing and that's tier basic. Okay, this is tier two. Okay, research your technologies from the previous tier to unlock tier two. I see, game. I see what's going on. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we can't get any upgrade stuff done for a while, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. So how about then? Yeah, we need to get that steel mill in place. Do we move everything around? I mean, yeah, do we just dismantle all this stuff and try and replace it? Um, I mean, what could go there? Nothing much can go there. Do we put stores over here? Hang on, hang on. I know what we could do. Just because I think we're supposed to have a road going all the way down like that. We'll put a road like that. Hang on, and we have to connect that up. So that can go in like that. But then, yeah, do we move all these over here and free up a huge amount of space in the middle? I think that might be a good idea. Because, yeah, really, we should have built things kind of out of the way. I didn't know the edges were going to be so precious. And we're going to run out of room quite so easily. So, yeah, do we just start moving things around? So build, say, a series of stockpiles along here, and that leaves this middle bit free to build in. And then we have, like, a road going around the side, like a ring road or something. I don't know what the best course of action is. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, maybe we do that then. So that thing there, we need to take apart. But that's fine, because nothing's in it yet. But that does have 100 alloys in it, which is a bit of a problem. Hang on, how are we going to do this? So we want to go... Two, maintenance, stockpiles. How many can we get along here? One, two, we can get three down there. So that's okay. Put three stockpiles in across there, please. Right, buildy bots. Get that done right now, nice and quick. That shouldn't be too difficult. We've got loads of alloys. You can fly through and get that done. Get the um, get the buildy sort of uh, big metal frame thing in. You can sort that out. That's going to be fine. 
So you can get working on that. I'm a little sort of acutely aware that we've got a mining ship out there that's mining iron that we can't store anywhere, which is a bit of a problem. So, okay, over here then, store alloys. And then on this one, don't store alloys. So I assume they now empty that out and put it over there. So that'll free up that one. So hang on, move time on. Do this nice and fast. So that can be alloys. Um, we've got food. So that one can be food. And that one can be nothing. So undo the food. And this one here uh, will put us polymers. Okay, so polymers in there. And then no polymers in there. Okay, so I imagine now these are being cleared out of resources. They're moving stuff out of here, I would guess, and putting things into here. Yeah, look, stuff's tons of trundling down. And memorials have been unlocked. Okay, I think maybe we get this in just to add a little bit of stability around the place. So 60 alloys and two electronics. We haven't got the electronics yet. Possibly we need to make a special trip to that. But okay, hang on. Let's clear these out first. They need to be empty. Got to clear these out because that's going to be a problem. So let's just get rid of all the things in these. Right, that is empty. So now we can dismantle that. Yes, take this apart. This is all fine. Everything's fine. Um, where are we going to move that to? Where are we going to build a new workshop? So take that apart. That's being slowly... Oh, that's got 100 pol... Oh, they put, took the polymers from there and put it into that. Oh, botheration. <laughs> okay. This is fine. This is fine. Right. Okay. More stockpiles. Uh, we'll have another one there. And then we'll just have a little bit of road coming down like that. Just so it can connect for now. And there's not much room behind here. Hang on. How big were the um, memorial things? Oh, they're gigantables. Wow. They're huge big things. Good grief. Okay. Right. So maybe we could get some more of these. Ah, yes. Perfect. Okay. Behind the science building... Another couple of those. Not overly efficient, but it will do the job. Right, so get that done. So that's got nothing, and that's gone. Right, that building is gone. That's good news. Right, okay. So now that's not storing anything. That can store polymers, please. So please put polymers into this. Take them out of here. Put them over there. So that'll remove that building out of the equation. And then we want alloys to go over there. Got so many alloys. Okay, that can be alloys. This is all fine. So they can clear it out of there. Right, that's got nothing in. Dismantle that. And then we've got even more alloys. And then we do have nine electronics. They've actually bought the electronics in. And now we need to rejig where they all are. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> um, right. We need to empty these out of it. They're okay. They're all, those two are full. That's fine. And we need a buildy thing. I mean, could the buildy thing go up here? Could we build a new buildy thing? Where is it? Workshop. So yeah, if we put a new workshop up in that corner, so pop that there. A little bit of a gap at the back there, but that's fine. We can't fill every gap, I don't imagine. And then we'll have another one of those. Hang on, if we put that right at the top, does that allow us to build any more extra bits and bobs? Don't think it does, because that's four wide as well. Okay, do you know what then? If we put that there, hang on. Yeah, get rid of that. Don't do that. Get rid of that. Yeah, that didn't exist anyway. So one of those there, and then another stockpile, and then that thing, the workshop, can go at the top. So we haven't got a road going around the top. I can cope with that. That's fine. I can deal with that. As long as people come through here and go around the right way, it's all fine. So there we go. We'll do that. It's a little bit ramshackle, but it's fine. And then we can take these apart. Oh, hang on, there's an event. Sector growth. Administrator, sector one has almost reached its maximum structural load. With more infrastructure, sure needed soon, a new sector will need to be unlocked. Originally, sectors are programmed to automatically unlock after completion of the mission to Proximus and Tulare. With a change of the Tycoon's mission objective, this restriction could be bypassed by manually overriding gateway lock algorithms. Okay. So we could say, yes, we'll go and do that. It might be a good idea. Or we could say, no. I would quite like to. I'd quite like to. Do you know what? Yeah, 10 cycles. That's fine. We can open up a thing. It'll all be good. But we do have some admin to do first. So that's still got 78. Hang on a minute. What's that storing? That can store, that can store more alloys. And then we can switch that one off. 
and that one can store electronics and we can switch that one off and then once that building is complete there we can get rid of that that frees up room over here and it's all going to be amazing right let's get time ticking on shall we Run time on until all this stuff is kind of rejigged and moved around the place, but it's taking a little while. Okay, finally, we've rejigged all of our storage areas and the little kind of buildy place as well. Okay, right, pause time for a second. Now I think what we do is we clear out all of those roads there. So get rid of all of you lot, get rid of that there, even get rid of that little bit there. So get rid of that. And now we can see how we fit the factory. And so the steel mill is big. That is very big indeed. So what I think we just hang on. Could we put that there, look? And then at least we can have a little kind of road cutting round the top there. Is that worth doing? Or do we put it there and have a road more at the back? We can't, hang on, we can't put it there. We can put it there. That'd be okay. Do you know what? We're putting it there. So a gigantic steel mill going in. That's quite big. And then we'll bring that round like that. Um... We'll put that to there, that's fun. There can be an extra bit of road there for fun. And then, near to this, we are going to want to have... So if we just run that along to there, say... So a nice little bit of road, I do like a road. Uh, we'll then have a stockpile, another one. Pop that there, and that can store the iron that our little kind of mining ship is no doubt going out to collect, but we can't put it anywhere. So it's probably just sort of waiting somewhere, thinking, hello, what am I supposed to do with this iron that you've asked me to collect? So it can go into there, and then it can go into here, and everything's going to be fine. And now as well, I think we get in one of these. So 60 of our alloys, got loads of them. So we can either have a genetic Canatus memorial, we can get a Lunaclism memorial, or we can get a Marduk memorial. Um, okay, so plus one stability in the sector, tech, uh, tech tree upgrades can... In Increases bonus in sectors with a specific specialization. Yeah, that's a thing we need to look at, but we're not going to look at it today, I don't think. Um, right, they're all the same. I d let's get a, a, a Lunaclism Memorial, because that's what we're all going to be sad about. So why don't we get one of those? And can we put that there? Does that make life difficult anywhere else? Um, it looks like it should be okay. Do you know what? We'll end up moving it. We know we will. But for now, we're just going to pop it in over here. Um, or is that the best place for it? Do we maybe not have roads going around here and put it sort of there like that and free that up over there? Maybe we do that. Hang on. Hang on. Get rid of those roads there. Get rid of that road. I know this is a bit rubbish down. It's hard to get down here, but no one goes down there. Um, Lunaclism Memorial. Put it there, look. And... Bring a road down the front of it, like so. Okay, do you know what? For now, because it's free to build the roads and free to destroy them, we'll just do that look. So, move time on quickly. Let's get all this stuff built, because this is taking a while. Um, also, yeah, we have got to open the gateway of Sector 1. Hang on, what do we need to open the gateway of Sector 1? Um, we need 80 alloys. Okay, 1 electronics, got that. 16 food, got that. 40 people. We could go and do that. We could do that. We have four and a half cycles left. I'd like to get all this done first if we could. I would like to get all that done. And then also, yeah, we are mining all that iron. So I assume the mining ship could just hold all that iron. I assume it just goes and grabs it all constantly. The steel mill is almost done. So they're just chucking the stuff in. Oh, they're building the memorial first. That's quite good. That makes sense, I suppose. Get that done first. Right, so what we'll do is move time on very quickly get that thing put together. Oh, they're building that as well. Okay. Oh, no, they're moving the resources in. No, that's done. Right, so iron can now go into here. We've got the resources... Oh, the resources going. I've got the resources pouring over into that thing, but now it looks like they're building the steel mill. Okay, this is all looking very good. It's looking terribly efficient. I want to make sure we don't run out of time to open sector one. I'd like to get these done first, because that's going to be quite a big thing to do. And I'd just like to get this sorted. At least get this done. At least get the great big kind of steel mill thing done out of the way. So we can make use of the iron that we are collecting. Come on. Come on. Just whack it with space hammers. There we go. We've whacked it with enough space hammers. And boom. It is now done. Ooh. Incoming transmission. Okay. Hello. Administrator. We are picking up a Dollars emergency frequency broadcast from the facility Outer Hope. Really? There's somebody else out there. 
Can you t talk quicker, please? Uh, Dolos Protocol dictates that in the event of a major system's failure, administrators must contact the nearest Dolos site immediately. Okay. Can we do that in a bit? Hang on. Pause time. Our Taupe station is likely to have both the materials and expertise required to repair the damage that the Vol engine has sustained. Just looking at that timer ticking down there, Ed, and if you could talk a bit quicker, that'd be great, because I'd like to wrap things up. Okay. Close transmission. Pause time for a second. Okay, so... We've now got to go and find a Dolos station out there somewhere. Still got to collect some Chronic Pods. We've mined all the iron. Oh, no, we haven't. We've got 426 out of 462. So we've nearly got all that iron. So we can start making our own alloys, which is good for keeping the hull intact. But, yes, we've now got to go and open Sector 1. And I think what we'll do is we will do that next time out. I think it's looking pretty good. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Got 0.4 cycles. How long does it take to build this? If we could get this done by the end of that, I think we might do, I think we might do 0 0.3. I think, does that, repre does that represent a cycle? Oh, we might not get it done. We might not get that complete. I don't want to fail the objective because then people will be sad. So we're going to open up sector one, net or sector two maybe it is, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to open up sector two next time when we come back because that's going to be quite a big thing. It's going to be involved. There's going to be loads of bits to do in there. Got all these sort of, I imagine there's going to be like resource piles to go and scavenge and all that kind of stuff. So got plenty to do in that bit. So I think, yeah, for now, we will wrap things up, but we've done okay. I mean, important thing number one, we're still here. Yeah, we're still around. We haven't kind of, you know, imploded. Nothing's gone terribly wrong. We've built some more solar panels, got some more power. Power's looking okay, if not brilliant, but we can always add some more. The hull is looking okay as well. People are quite happy with us. People are very happy. 100% current trust levels in us, which is very good. We've kind of done a little bit of reorganization of stuff in here, which was required. Hang on a second. Probably store alloys in that one for now. Um, and yeah, we've even got some new buildings in. We've got the sort of probe launchy thing. We've got a nice iron factory now. And we can start producing our own alloys, which will be good for keeping the hull from imploding and killing us all. So overall, I think it's gone quite well. Next time when we come back, yeah, we'll open that thing up and have a look what's in there. And then, yeah, we'll try and get this thing up and running. So we'll see what our little kind of uh, mining ship looks like and how it works and how it feeds back over to here. And then we'll do some more scanning. And then we'll go and have a little look around and try and find a dollar station. We'll just sort of you know, go and find go and find our sort of signal that was being broadcast out and we'll see where we go from there. But I mean, there's plenty to be getting on with. There's a lot to be getting on with. There's probably more things we can scan, more things we can store. But yeah, I think really the big thing is opening up the new sector because this one is getting a little bit full, isn't it? It's got a sort of structure limit. We can't overload it. So uh, yeah, we'll be careful with that. But that's OK. That's funny. Is that what that is? Oh, that's battery power. I was wondering how we know what the structure limit is. But OK, we'll find that out at some point, I imagine. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Come back next time. See what happens here in Ixion. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Ixion. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding on a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous.